This guy is a fucking cheapskate. He has very overpriced items. But, um... I do want to buy something if I can. It's candy. I think I, I think I can get it cheaper somewhere else. Fuck! <laughs> okay, I did not want to sleep there. Okay, no. Jesus fucking Christ, dude. Okay. Sleepy I hobos. Menued my shit wrong. Okay. Shop. Okay. What do you have? Just let me fucking see. All right. Ninety's not bad for that. Um, I think the girl already has this. So optimally, we want to buy two of these. So I think I'm just gonna go ahead and do that. So again, making our armor good, so we don't have to really grind much. Uh, make sure I equip that. It's one defense. It's really negligible right now, but <laughs> every little helps. Yep, it really does. It is, especially at an early stage as well. Yeah. So we, we do want to get the uh, second party member, the girl, um, early, so Dan can actually start playing. Yay! And because um, usually you'll get the sprite first, but you can get the girl first. But there's an easy way and a hard way to do it. The hard way requires some grinding usually because the enemies are really strong. But okay, you have to talk to these guards first in order to actually get the girl early because it's part of her story, basically. Um, so they're saying we need a whip to go to Alina's castle, blah, 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 maybe dialogue, all set. So yeah, you have to trigger this cutscene because you can just walk past them without talking to them. Yeah. But for some reason, it will not trigger a cutscene that's about to happen in a few minutes. It's a little weird. I, I, I never really understood why that triggers stuff, but they went over here, um, which we can actually go into. Um, but we can't go anywhere because we need the whip to cross. Uh, we can actually get into this area from another part of the map. But again, those are higher level enemies and they're really difficult and it's easy to die, but you can get the girl over there. If you don't trigger that cutscene, I know it's confusing, but more on that in a minute. Yeah, with a lot of the technical stuff, again, any knowledge or story based stuff, Josh, is, Josh will fill you in. Because to be fair, there's, there's a lot of things that I've I'm not too familiar with, or, or I've forgotten. He's kind of reminding me, and so, I, and to be fair, dude, if you want to interrupt me, just do that because you know, because uh, any yeah, story-based stuff. Really, yeah, this is really boring, though. So. <laughs> I mean, this girl's 200 years old. Wow. Yeah, she's dyed her hair green. That would have been grey otherwise. Yeah. <laughs> Man, his power is growing weak. That's why this boy was able to take the sword. So we're not like a King Arthur kind of bullshit. We weren't just really special, I guess. Like I said, I'm actually kind of reading this text because, like, I kind of need a refresher on some of the story because it's been a really long time. But we're basically just on a quest to restore the Man of Swords' power. Yeah. Um, so, like, there are eight palaces among the world where we have to hold up the sword to the mana seed to like reseal it or whatever or to uh, release its stored power there you go oh wait no that's she's talking about foraging never fucking mind but yeah that's what these seeds are for it's to restore the power to the sword basically watch out for the empire and blah 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 that's no fairy tale it's fucking real dude <laughs> it's happening right now it's going to unlock the seals from the world's mana seeds. A bunch of strangers have already started snooping around this palace. Something's very wrong in Pandora. Could the Empire be involved? I don't know. Blah, blah, blah. All right, so Gemma's going to go to Pandora. Check that out. We're going to go to Gaia's, Gaia's Naval. Naval. But we're actually going to make a pit stop first. But yeah, in Gaia's Naval, the dwarves live there, and they can forge our weapon with the orb that we just got. Yeah, he's talking about skill levels, which I already explained that. Um, Alright, what's up, Luca? Hobo, what are you so scared of? I'm honestly scared of the fortress. Eons and eons ago, the ancient used the mana fortress in their final battle, but even they could not control mana. In the end, it was your sword that saved the world. Survivors rebuilt the world to honor mana. That is the mana sword, but its power is gone. It used its last ounce of power to summon you. Uh, why me? Why did it choose me? Why did it know. choose me? I'm just a hobo! <laughs> I don't know, but you now must see re-energize it. It's like, thanks, okay. I'm fucked <laughs> now. 
No problem. No problem. No way. No way. What should I do? You must become a hero who's worthy of the sword. That's an easy task. <laughs> a hero hobo. Okay. <laughs> you will be in a loop of text if you say the other option, so. Yeah. Enough. Hold the sword up to the seed. <laughs> Look at that testicle. <laughs> Nut. For a mm. moment, the seed and the sword became one. These you have sealed no. the mana seed with your mana sword, if that's confusing enough. <laughs> <laughs> So you seal the seeds with the sword, which restores the power to the sword, I guess? Now the mana power from the seed will be sent only to you and your sword, yeah. Try try set up five times fast. I don't know no shit. <laughs> You'll be able to gain the power from the mana seed wherever you are. Eight palaces, like I said. Receive the seed's power. All right, so we got the spear, which is actually the strongest weapon in the game. We have the mana sword in our grasp, but the spear is the strongest weapon. How dumb is that? <laughs> Received spear. So I'm going to equip that shit right the fuck now. Alright, I will restore you. So yeah, she can um, heal you up and save your game, so you can always come back here to do that. Which is smart. Alright, so we can go to Guy's Naval. I know where that is. But I want to equip this spear first. See, 20 damage? This one does 21 damage. Ooh. Oh. Ooh. Maybe that will help. So there's a little area down here. I'm not really sure what it's for. I don't remember if there's a chest that appears down here eventually, but it's just kind of a, a prison cell, I guess. I don't fucking know. Because this place is the Water Palace, which um, holds the mana seed of water. So that's this shit here. Oh shit, I didn't really mean to talk to her again. All right, I know. I know. <laughs> I know. I know. We I know. notice. Fuck! Okay. I'm going to lock you in here, Luca. Fuck you. <laughs> what a mean spirited hobo. Yeah. Get fucked! <laughs> Wrecked. Alright. Just don't try that at home. So, right now it's pretty uh, linear. But um, it, the world actually does kind of open up after a certain point where you can kind of do stuff out of order. But that's not till much later. Alright, so let's go get the uh, girl. And we can think about what her name's gonna be. But uh, first, we need. A, this is the cutscene that's going to happen right here after I kill this thing. Oh. And and this cutscene will not trigger if you don't talk to Dylock and the soldiers before seeing Luca. So we just got axed by goblins. <laughs> As you do. And, and thrown into a pot. Help out! <laughs> I'd do a bit more than that if I was in a burning cauldron. I know, like... like <laughs> ouch! Oh, God, I've got... Ouch! Third degree burns! Ouch. Oh, no. oh, I got a rash! <laughs> Help! <laughs> Let me go. Look at his face. <laughs> you look delicious. Tasty hobos. Shriek. Hey, the dancing is ready, but yeah, and let's join. And there's our next party member. Hey! Hey! Listen! Listen. Okay. <laughs> hey, you! <laughs> what the hell are you doing? I'm not gonna fucking know again. Help me! Help! Shut up! No! Oh, I'm, a, I'm just a helpless little hobo. Let's get out of here. You think? Okay. He's only, he's, he's, he's just, I owe you my life, but I am only following you because you've got tits. <laughs> I've been searching for someone. For a second, I thought you were him. Which him? In case of mistaken identity, huh? So she's looking for Dylock, which is the blonde haired dude that we saw a few minutes ago. I'm only joking. Look, I'm in a hurry. You better get back to your home later. Okay, girl. <gasps> hey, wait, left without even telling me her name. What is her name going to be? What are we going to name her? Bitch. Oh. Um, we could. Peach. Peach. I, I what think it, it's oh. funny, because I have actually named her Peach before. What did we say earlier? We said we're going to give the boys funny names, and then and then to counteract it, we're going to give the girl a normal name. What? But the fact that we like name Stacey her second actually kind of counteracts how funny that would be. So, I yeah. don't know. So, um, we'll call, um... Let's call it, like, Piles or something. Piles? Yeah, just Piles. 
So this is cannon travel. I'm not using it just because I wanted to gain some more oh, yeah. killing enemies. So you can fast travel to the Water Palace or Pandora, I believe, but I'm just going to walk there. Where's just Piles like... gone? Because um, we wanted to name the sprite Lysi. <laughs> Lysi, that's it. We'll have to name her. So, um... Let's name her Lysi and we'll name the other guy Butts. <laughs> But the sprite has more hair, so that's why I kind of wanted to name him Lysi, but... Wait, which one's Lysi? Oh, we want to it's, name... We haven't seen him yet. Okay, so shall we name her Butts then? Sure, let's name her Butts. <laughs> or, or Piles. I mean, Piles sounds funny anyway. P Piles with a Z. Piles leveled up. <laughs> piles <laughs> leveled up. Oh, I'm sitting on my Piles. Ghosts don't lit... Don't dicks. Ghosts don't dicks. Can you get out of here alive? <laughs> Hobo's oh, weapon skill up. Yeah, Hobo and Piles and Lysi. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? Ian? Mush boom. Yeah, mush boom. Mush boom. Mm. Shut up, poison toad. <laughs> That's a streaker yeah, toad. It's like. <laughs> it's like. Ah, where's my clothes? All right, so I think there's um some armor we can get here actually. Whoa, customer, nothing much. Whoa, customer, let me just dance weirdly. <laughs> I think she has the Kung Fu suit and not the bow, actually. I'm going to take a risk here, but I'm pretty sure she needs this. So, hi. Okay, so, if you... If you, uh, if you uh, trigger the cutscene <laughs> with the, uh, the goblins, then you can get the girl at this point. So what you need to do is go over to the castle here, which I'm bad at directions apparently. <laughs> you don't oh, move. Have you not got your compass out? <laughs> it's in my pants. Oh, this okay. This is the castle. Oh my god, I didn't even do it. This place is kind of a maze. It's a big old, big old castle, and there's a king that resides here, and I don't know really who the girl actually is if she's like from royalty or something i'm not really sure <gasps> it's piles dad you're impossible i'll make my own decisions about my life hey it's a guy i saved say what you're a swordsman huh oh you mean this this is great i need your help i helped you didn't i it's your turn we're gonna go teach that witch a lesson we're going to save dialogue but, but i've got to go to the underground palace <laughs> Later. Later. <laughs> right, let's go. Uh, I'm, I'm a hobo! Oh, call me... Piles? <laughs> Piles. Are we really fucking naming her Piles? Yeah, we'll name her Piles. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> like, P-I-L-E-Z? Just to make it... P-I-L... Yeah, we could, we could tell... Do you know what Piles is? I don't know if... That might just be no. a strictly English term. Piles is a, is, is a slang term for hemorrhoids. Oh my god. So with a Z makes it even <laughs> Is that how you want to spell it? Yeah, but let's go for it. Oh fuck. Pile <laughs> You call me Piles. <laughs> you call Piles. <laughs> you call me hemorrhoids. Oh, that's definitely the weirdest name I've ever named this character. <laughs> <laughs> Am I Piles? Piles. Okay, so yeah, you should be able to press start, I think, and yeah. See the number two down there? Now you control her. Oh. So you can actually control her. Yay! Where are we going? Okay, hobo! <gasps> Piles! I hate, I hate you, Dad! You, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> I hate you, Dad! Why'd you give me this name? <laughs> I'm not returning this place ever. He gave me this fucking horrible name. <laughs> and, oh, and then now I'm just like, excuse me, I'm called hobo. What do you... <laughs> so I can only walk so far away from you. So, like, we have to kind of stay in the vicinity of each other. Sorry, I was trying to make comedy. Okay. Oh, well, yeah. I'm, I'm just saying. Uh, <laughs> just for future reference. <laughs> so, here's the king, king and the queen. The witch Alini is draining people's energy. Those people are going to the ruins in the southern part of the... I'll just, like, start reading the text. Because why the fuck not? It's not that... It's not that long. And it's an RPG. Okay, so... Text. Shall we switch around and... Do you want to do Hobo's text and I'll do Piles? <laughs> yeah, since, since we're controlling the respective <laughs> characters, yeah, let's just do that. I'm, I'm Piles. I'll have a uh, look around. Head for Guy's nipple. Get the head for Guy's nipple. <laughs> Alright, let's see. 
what a nightmare. The people in my country are acting like zombies. What the fuck was that noise? The troops I sent to fight the witch were captured. <laughs> what? You and Dad made Dylock go to the witch's castle? How dare you try to drive Dylock and me apart? <laughs> yeah, she's she's in love with Dylock. So I love Dylock. Oh, Dylock, Dylock, Dylock. Oh, it gets so annoying. How rude. Be that way. Let's go, hobo. God, now. Such a bitch. No, 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 fucking... I want to talk to the queen. I want to talk to the queen. No! <laughs> Expelled from your village? Well, this realm too is having problems. That's your response? Okay, whatever. Hobo! It would probably be the best if you also left this country. <laughs> I'm doing Don't exercise! Talk to people! <laughs> no, we need to get something. <laughs> I'm oh, dear. Up to now, this has been such a peaceful country. Fuck off. Okay. I'm trying to do uh, exercise. I don't, I don't think we can actually get the shit yet. No, we can't. This is the treasure house. I must guard it for the night in the legend. That's me, though. That's actually me. <laughs> All right, fuck this. Let's get out of here. So you can run with the A button. Well, see ya. Oh, I thought you wanted to go back in and have a chat. No, no, no. No, no we're good. We're, we're out of there. Oh, yeah. So, um, Spike Knuckle is basically a uh, physical weapon. So you, like, punch enemies and stuff. But you can use a sword if you want. Or the spear. Okay, I'll take the sword. <laughs> um. Yeah, yeah. Do I? You, do you want the spear? Uh, no. You can have it. Um. Yeah, you you have it equipped, so you're good. Um, yeah. but actually, go into your menu really quick. Cause you need to equip the uh, armor I got you. So press up or down. And keep scrolling through and go to equip. Yeah. Oh, wrong and button. Then, and... No, no, so, I yeah, did that. Sorry. You want to double equip that? So you press A twice to equip it. So you want the ribbon. Okay, so that means you have it equipped, and then you can go to the bracelet. You already have that, so you don't need to do anything there. Uh, go to the bracelet. It should be the next menu over. There we go. Yeah, the menuing is really hard to master in this game. That's one of the downfalls. But yeah, you're good. You can exit that menu now by keep pressing Y, I think. Let me see. Oh, what's my shit? Piles, level one. <laughs> Piles has a lot of with Piles' intelligence is not great. Yeah, so she's she's basically the white mage of the group, so she gets healing magic later on. So her attack isn't great. So that I usually give the spear to the sprite because the sprite has the lowest attack power, so I give him the strongest weapon, but it really doesn't matter. We can give anyone any weapon that they want. So, it doesn't matter. <laughs> 